Hello, my name is Rob Cronenberg. I'm an attorney and I am also a retired New York City police captain. My main area of legal practice is civil service law. Now you're probably watching this video because you received a notice of proposed disqualification in the mail from one of a variety of agencies. The New York City Police Department, the Fire Department, perhaps the New York City Department of Correction, Department of Sanitation. The notice of proposed disqualification is basically where the agency is telling you that they are thinking of disqualifying you. Now, throughout this video, I'm going to be speaking primarily about the New York City Police Department, the position of police officer, and psychological disqualifications. But what I'm talking about applies to other positions within the police department, such as school safety officer, and other agencies such as New York City Department of Correction, correction officer, sanitation worker, or firefighter. So you've received this notice of proposed disqualification. First thing that you must realize is do not be discouraged. Many, many, many people get these letters. It does not mean that it's over. Far from it. These appeals are winnable. But in order to win an appeal, you have to do certain things. These notices of proposed disqualification tell you about time frames. For the city agencies, such as the New York City Police Department, Department of Correction, Fire Department, Sanitation, typically you have 30 days within which to let the agency know that you're going to appeal. When you let them know that you're going to appeal, you also want to let them know that you would like to submit documentation from a mental health professional, a psychologist, in support of your appeal. It's very important that you comply with these time limitations because if you don't, you may not be able to continue with your appeal and probably won't be able to. So in a psychological disqualification, it's critical to let them know within 30 days that you wish to appeal and that you would like your psychological file released to your appeal psychologist. Once that is done, your file is requested from the agency, your appeal psychologist gets the file, reviews it with your attorney, and the appeal psychologist at some point will prepare a report refuting what it is that the NYPD or other agencies said about you. The report will assert your psychological fitness to be a police officer. The attorney would prepare a legal brief in support of your position that you are psychologically qualified to be a police officer. Everything would get packaged up and forwarded to the NYPD. If for some reason the police department, after reviewing all the documentation, believes that you should still be disqualified, they will then send you a notice of actual or final disqualification. And then at that point, it's not over. The appeal then goes or would be filed with the New York City Civil Service Commission. The Civil Service Commission is a separate agency, a separate entity from the police department, sanitation, fire, or the Department of Correction. There's no connection. I would be happy to speak with anybody who would like to talk more in detail about these appeals. If you receive certainly a notice of proposed disqualification, you can reach me at 631-234-4434 or visit my website at www.rcronenberglaw.com or simply Google my name, Robert Cronenberg, and my website should come up. I wish you luck. I hope you don't get a notice of proposed disqualification, but if you do, I can help you. Have a great day.